Alright guys, so here's a very large model update. And I, I added new shelves and got tons of new models. So, I start off, the top shelf has the PC 210 with the road header. Along with the, the Libra R944C tunneling machine with the hammer which can fit as well. Volvo EC700 high reach. Hitachi's Axis 450 with the hammer. PC400 with the hammer. That's a custom made hammer. Second shelf's got the MZG Cat 966F. Cat 988F. Cat 416B, which were all produced by NZG. Komatsu WA470. Hitachi's Axis 350 high reach with the standard digging boom. And an Abrams M1A1 tank. Third shelf. Got the Volvo A40E. Case 621D. The crushing and screening unit. Little deer dozer. Cat AP 1055B. Uh, Vermeer T1255 terrain leveler and the Deer A24J. Last shelf has the Schneider with the dry van Freightliner. So now uh, over here on the table we got the Turex AC500, the new version. You can see it's got different colored weights and it's fully extended out with a load. And you can see the black weights. And back over here, I already got a pin in here because I'm getting the Luffin jib. And also, took off the wings on it. Two red Freightliner Century Class with East flatbeds. One's got the headache rack and they got loads on them both. Potent MDT-178 Tower Crane and Acromet with a shortened mast. And with two parts of line. It's probably one of my favorite crane models. DMAG AC40, Libra 1055, Libra 1300. 4100 W Tower Crane with extensions in both working boom and uh, street boom or mast, whatever you want to call it. Grove GMK 4115 with the little fly jib with two parts of line. Grove GMK 3115 with the fly jib and a whip line. Two P379 Nelson ramps in gray, both have loads on them. Komatsu PC1100 LC. Volvo EC700. P357 in white with the East Dump trailer. Schwing 47 meter Mac MR cab over concrete pumper. DG equipment P379. A Schwing 36 meter with a Mercedes front. A man Schwing mixer. Northcott service truck. Cat 920. Ham pad foot roller. International 175. Over here is my latest addition to the wall. And you can see I got shelves and um, I want to repaint this room actually and paint over those brackets because I don't like the way they look so I'll do that in the upcoming months over here we have a new addition this is the Pete 335 in red with the red rollback picking up a Chevy pickup which I think looks extremely cool Valmet 455 track harvester two Oshkosh front discharge mixers one's in Zignego and one's in golden green green gold either which way you say the two-axle Oshkosh plow truck and the three-axle Oshkosh plow truck. The ATS Freightliner with the East flatbed and that's holding the AC500 wings. And another ATS flatbed with the East dump trail. With the East flatbed. A gray Freightliner uh, Century Class with the East flatbed with four and six lined Goldhofer trailers. Lieber PR 764 
in Kai bag. Another GMK 3055 with two parts aligned. The Bauer BG40 in Malcolm. Grove RT540E with four parts aligned. And coming around again over here. Now to show you my crane models. So now here are my crane models. We got two Manitowoc 16,000s. One is in the heavy lift setup, with no windmill tip. And the other, you can see right here, which is extremely tall, has the windmill tip. Now, you could tell that this thing is extremely tall and it has more than the model supposed to. It has a section from that one put into that one. So I guess you could say it has uh, almost, if there was an extension kit available, it would have one extension. And the midways right here are very much needed. Blue Manitalk Triple Five, Lieber HS 855, MZG LR 1300 with the luffing jib, Conrad LTR 1100 in Feldenmeyer, and the Manitalk 18,000, and that has extension kits as well. So now that I uh, I showed you a bunch, I'll show you. I'll tell you my future plans. What I plan on doing is getting more shelves, and the bottom shelf is 12 inches, in, a foot in depth, which is 12 inches, and the top one is 10 inches. What I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to do it right after Christmas time after I get more money, I'm going to buy an 8 inch one in depth and start it there and go all the way along the top of the window frame and then stop it where the wall angles off. And I'm going to do that is simply because... I plan on buying many more models, and honestly, if I didn't have these shelves, this table would be crowded. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna make it look really cool, and that's what's gonna go on shelf-wise. Model-wise, for Christmas, my brother was getting the Luffing Jib for the AC500, and I'm getting a Conrad log loader type of trailer thing, if you wanna call it that. Uh, I don't even know, it, it's the doll log transporter, it's basically a tractor, uh, like so, and it's got a little crane on it, and it's got this, this, whatever you want to call them, that holds the logs in there, and then it's got a dolly, and the logs make the trailer, which I think is really cool, I like the color of it, so I'm definitely going to be getting those. As for any more new unboxing videos, it's probably not going to be, because like I said, I have to start saving my money for other stuff. But I will probably expand my forestry model collection and small dirt model collection since I can't spend too much money, but I'll try to spend a little bit. What I want to do is complete the set of these Falmet uh, TWH models. So that will probably happen. As for anything else, really don't think there's going to be any major model ordering. At the end of April, or mid-April, there's going to be a huge order of models so look forward to that I know it's a long way off but there's a 90% chance there's gonna be a huge order of models and it is possibly gonna be the LR1750 that I'm always talking about so that's pretty much it guys hope you liked it I went in detail with every single model I have so it's pretty much it